Now then guys, guys and girls, another video for you, two in a week, what's going on? So uh, I just wanted to give you a progress update, um, where should I start, start at the front. I now have a motorbike throttle uh, on the engine. Quick demo. Um, didn't really need it, a bit of fun, thought it'd be cool. And then when you can uh, you can stand at the front here and just give it a little rev, you don't have to lean over and tinker with that. Um, this is just a cheap eBay throttle set, and I had a spare cam, you can call it. And if you look carefully, you can see that I've had to uh, re-drill it so that I get the right leverage. Um, so, yeah. Works well. That's done. Success with the alternator belt. So those of you who want to know the part number, 6PK1840. Um, you can see there that I've got some long studs. I'm going to cut these back. And then I've got some slim nuts in there. So you can see that I've got like a 10, 12 mil gap. So that gap is, that's my tension on the belt. Um, and that works wonderful. Let's go around to, well, it looks good. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow when I run the engine, there's a top idle pulley going to the crank. And then you can almost just see, if I can get my hand up in there. So that's where the belt goes on the other side of the uh, water pump. Well, it doesn't normally, but that's all good. Uh, I had to buy myself a new dipstick because I lost it. So a new dipstick. And then you can see now that I have new oil lines on the turbo. So I made myself a new turbo flange, uh, put in some barbed fittings. So the small one is the high pressure in and the big one is the gravity drain. I've used this flexible hose, this clear PVC hose, which is probably not ideal, but it'll do for me for this project. And that drains all the way back down into the sump, like that. Um, what else have I got to show you? I've still got the ball valve in there. Uh, doing a bit of reading, watching a few videos, saying that Journal bearing turbos, which is what this is, just have full oil flow from the engine. Don't know if that's right or wrong, so I can still dial it back if there's too much oil or whatever. We shall see what it does. And, and I believe that is it for this video. Have a wander around this side. Mm. Yeah, show you these bits, these bits that I took off. So that's all good. Just, yeah, just one final comment. It, it's just a lot neater without all the ancillaries on. So the power steering pump and the alternator. Uh, power steering pump and the air conditioning pump. It'd be nice if I could pull alternator off, but I actually need that. So I'll cut there for this video. Keep it short and sweet. And tomorrow... Uh, I'm hoping to get it all running, so I'll get some clips of that. Um, and then I've really got to do this exhaust because it's just too loud. Just too loud. Right, so I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time.